All right, guys, welcome back to the next video. Welcome back to the Merck Atlanta. And today, guys, I'm going to show you my cabin on the ship. Uh, I did a couple years ago on the Merck Montana. Uh, this cabin, I like it a little bit more. It's a nice cabin, very spacious, very comfortable. So a lot of you guys probably didn't see the last time. It's been a couple years. So what does it look like, the cabin, where we sleep, where we live on a container ship? Well, today I'm going to show you. So let's go take a look. Okay, so here we are. This is home away from home. As soon as I walk in the room, I have my closet right here. A little space where I can hang my jacket. And a nice storage space. You have lots of storage space. I'll just show you one of them. This is where I just keep my work clothes. Got my laundry detergent back there, some snacks, things like that. Some of my luggage down there, socks and things like that. So you have a lot of storage space. So that's really a good thing. That's a plus. And there's a little, some tables over here. You always have a, pretty much all the Merce container ships, you always have a, you know, a piece of art on the wall or two. And there's a room lamp. And I like these curtains on this ship. It's a little different than a lot of them because of the color. And when the sun shines through, you get a nice color there. And it's pretty relaxing. Here's my sofa or couch, whatever you want to call it. And then over here in the corner, I have a desk. I have a little fan and a little lamp here. And I can post all the things behind my computer there, a little cork board, and more storage space on top. A couple drawers down there on the desk. Uh, I have a transformer down here on the bottom because that's for 110 Appliances USA. The ship is supplied with 220. And here's my bed here, it's a twin size bed. So it's comfortable. And underneath the bed, there's a couple of drawers too. So plenty of space here. Nice carpeting throughout. And the entrance area is a hard floor, which is good when you walk in. You can always mop that really easily. And here is the head, shower, and the commode. And behind the mirror is also storage for shaving things. And of course the shower. There's a little line where you can hang things and dry too. So, nice size. Now behind, this is where you access the plumbing, but there's also some cleaning supplies in here. So it doubles as that. And you can still easily access the shutoffs for the water, for the shower and the toilet. So generally this is what I keep the room like. I don't like the bright lights on when I'm in here. I find it not real, very relaxing. So I keep those off generally. And just the, the wall lamp, my desk lamp, and my bunk reading lamp. That's generally what I do when I'm in the room, listen to music or whatever. I find it really relaxing, this look. And once again, the sun shines through these curtains. It has a nice look to it here. I have two windows which directly face the sea, which is great. So when we are at sea, I can look directly outside and see the ocean, unlike a lot of rooms on ships. Usually you just look at containers. Now directly above me is, this is where you control your, this is for heat. The one that's red, obviously for heat, and the blue one is for cooling. You always leave that one open. That's your airflow. And then you adjust the temperature with the, this one here. So that's for heating and air conditioning. You have control of it there as well. And right behind here, uh, there's a little refrigerator right here where I keep drinks. So that's it guys. That's the home away from home. Very comfortable. Uh, plenty of storage space. And a twin size bunk here. Plenty of drawers, table space on this ship. A little bit better equipped than the Merck Montana was for me. So all in all, very comfortable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tour of my room. This is a standard container ship cabin. And this is where I'll be living for the next two and a half months. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. I'll be back with more videos real soon. Thanks for watching.